Welcome back to Mashups. Hey, wait a second. Can I borrow your phone? Thank you, buddy. So this is a locked phone, right? It's face locked and I don't have any access other than the light and probably the camera. That's not true. Even though this is a locked phone, there are a lot of things that can be accessed without unlocking your phone. Let us see how to protect those. So the tip number one, before you hand over the phone, lock it, not the face lock. If it is a face lock, somebody can point the phone at you and they can unlock your phone. How do you quickly lock the phone and disable the face ID? The simple solution, just to press and hold the side button and volume down button together until you see the shut off screen. Then cancel it, then you are good to go. Now your phone need a passcode to unlock the phone. Nobody else can unlock your phone without knowing your password. And the face ID is completely disabled. Alternatively, before you hand over your phone, you can ask Siri, hey, who sees this phone? I believe this iPhone belongs to Mash. And Siri will answer to your question and the phone will temporarily disable the face ID. So that's a quick solution to disable the face ID before you hand over your phone. Tip number two, what do you think about your iMessage? Is that okay to display on a lock screen? Uh, sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. What do you think if you get any OTP or some personal message from your friend? You don't wanna display that message to your friend if he is checking on your phone. So you can disable that. Go to iPhone settings, go to notifications and scroll to get the messages and tap on it and scroll down for lock screen appearance and see show previews and tap on it and sell it when unlocked instead of always. That's it. So no more messages will display on lock screen or nobody else can access your messages while it's in a locked state. Tip number three. Do you think your iMessage or chat history is protected in a lock screen? Let's check it out. For example, I got a message on my lock screen and I can quickly reply on it. But instead of that, if I tap and hold on it, then I can see the full message history over there. Don't worry, we can disable that. Now, open iPhone settings, go to face ID and passcode, scroll down until you see reply with the message. Toggle that off. Now, nobody else would be able to open your chat history and reply to them. Your phone need to be unlocked to reply to any message or read the chat history. It is easy to check your notification while you are on a locked screen whenever you get an app notification or weather information. But what about when you get a OTP number on your lock screen? If you don't want to display any of these messages or notifications on the lock screen, you can completely turn off those. Let's check how to do that. To hide a notification, open the settings on your iPhone, go to notifications and tap on this show previews instead of selecting always, select when unlocked. And now your notifications will only display on the screen while it's unlocked. Do you know you can use your spotlight or the search function on iPhone while it's in a locked state? You can see the apps that you use on iPhone and you can search for any apps or web result. It might be easy to access on a lock screen, but not all the times. Sometimes you may want to hide some apps that you are using on your iPhone. So better to disable that spotlight feature in a lock screen. How to do that? Let's check it. Open your iPhone and go to settings. Scroll down for face ID and passcode. Enter your passcode. Scroll down and turn off this today's view and search. That's it. So they won't get that much information from your iPhone spotlight search feature. I hope you like this video and following this tip. Meanwhile, if you like these tips, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for latest updates. Sometimes you may need access to a control center in a lock screen, but in that case, you can disable your home control. Otherwise, anybody else can access your control center and they can control your lamps or fans or any power plugs or whatever 
accessible through the control center, they can do that. Instead of disabling the entire control center, you can just disable the home accessories from lock screen. Let's see how to do that. Just go to iPhone settings and face ID and passcode, scroll down and turn off this home control. Now, if you check your control center, you see a message, unlock iPhone to view home accessories and scenes. That's pretty nice feature. And you just isolated your home accessories right from the lock screen. iPhone control center. By default, the control center can be accessed in lock screen. Think about somebody got an access to your phone, they can change the focus mode on your phone or even they can turn off your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth on your phone. You may notice a tiny line appear just below the battery or Wi-Fi status of your iPhone. That's indicating the control center. And once you turn off that, you may notice that that line disappeared. That means nobody else can access your iPhone control center with the locked screen. Let's see how to disable that. So go to iPhone settings and scroll down for face ID and passcode and you see control center toggle to turn off it. Now nobody else can get the control center while your phone is in a locked state. Do you know anybody can make calls from your phone even though it's locked? Hey Siri. Call Abdu. Calling Abdu, iPhone. The phone is locked and it's making a call. So anybody can access your phone, they can make a call without unlocking your phone. Sometimes it might be useful, but not all the time. Anyway, it's your choice. So if you want to disable calling on your lock screen, definitely you can do that. Just to go to iPhone settings and tap on face ID and passcode, enter your passcode there and toggle off this voice dial. That will disable CD from making calls while your phone is in a locked state. You know, Siri is very useful on iPhone. You can do a lot of things with the Siri. You can ask a Siri to check weather, or you can ask a Siri to call a particular phone number. You can do all these things with the Siri in a locked phone. Do you want to really disable that feature? You can do that. Go to iPhone settings, and as usual, the face ID and passcode, and scroll down for allowed access when locked, and toggle off the Siri function off there. That's it, pretty quick. So if somebody hold your phone against your face, the iPhone can automatically unlock by sensing your face ID, right? But you can give an additional layer of security there. There is a feature in iPhone that need your attention to unlock your face ID. So for example, if you close your eyes or if you are wearing a glass, your iPhone won't be able to unlock it. So that's a nice feature. And you can ask your iPhone, hey, if you wanna unlock my phone, you need my full attention and you need to see my eyeballs. Let's see how to enable that. Go to iPhone settings and tap on face ID and passcode. And here you see under attention, require attention for face ID. When you enable this feature, it's using the true depth camera for additional level of security. And you have to look at your phone screen to unlock your phone. Sometimes it will be very useful if you are forced to unlock your phone with your face ID. You can enable this one and as long as you are not giving attention to the phone screen, the phone will be locked. This is an another tip that you never noticed before. You know, when we drive multiple cars or if you use a rent a car recently, you may give access to your phone to that car play. What do you think if somebody else is using that car and they can come to a Bluetooth range of your phone? They can access your data. They can see your call details. I would say always remove the cards from your iPhone thus you are not gonna use it. Go to your iPhone settings and tap on general, tap on CarPlay. You can see under my cards, all the cards that you used over there. And you can remove if they have any cards that you don't recognize or you used previously. Tap on the card that you want to remove and tap on forget this car. Do you know somebody can create a note on your iPhone while it's locked? It's a very handy feature, right? Somebody can put a note on your phone and you can see that later, but not all the time. And if you want it, you can disable it. 
just to go to iPhone settings, scroll down until you see notes, scroll down again on the notes screen. Very bottom, you can see access notes from lock screen. And there are three options over there. You can turn it off completely or always allow others to create a new note while your phone is locked or they can resume the last note. So I wouldn't recommend to resume the last note. That may not be a good idea to see the history of the note. Instead of that, you can allow them to create a new note or you can completely turn off this feature. Maybe one of the least feature, but it is very important for me. What do you think if you lost your phone and if you are not able to recover it? Somebody can try multiple attempts to unlock your phone, guessing your passwords. Just in case, if he get lucky, he can unlock your phone. And once he unlock your phone, he can access all data from your phone. That's not going to be a pleasant news for you. So what do you do? And there is an option to wipe out your phone and erase all the data if somebody made more than 10 attempts to unlock your phone. Just go to iPhone settings and tap on face ID and passcode and scroll down to the bottom and you see erase data. Toggle it on. This will erase your iPhone if somebody tried to make 10 false attempts to unlock your phone. It might be a useful feature for you, but it's up to you whether you wanna disable or enable it. Do you know any other additional steps that can be useful to protect your privacy on your iPhone? Let us know. Before we end this video, we have published a video for the best iPhone 15 features and that you don't wanna miss it, you can check the link here. And if you think any additional features that we miss here, let us know in comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click the subscribe button here and press the bell icon for latest updates. Thank you for watching this video and we will come back with another one.